Why would a man want a station wagon? Well, he needs space for the family's weekend shopping and the dog's food. But why would he want a four-wheel drive raised station wagon like this Volvo V60 Cross Country? Because it would be fun to see how the car pulls a guy on a snowboard. The four-wheel drive cross-country is the raised version of the V60 and it looks like someone has forgotten to take away the jack stands. This means an increased ground clearance of 65 millimeters or 21 centimeters in total which is just as much as the XC60 and a special suspension for some more off-road capability. Cross Country comes with additional plastic body parts in black, especially around the wheel arches. They give some rustic charm. Let's stay inside while he's getting his gear fixed. It's warmer in here and it's just as nice and comfy as in the regular V60. The Cross Country comes with special leather seats as standard and they're just as comfortable as they look. Ready to go? Let's go! Slowly moly, the rope is straight. And he's coming. We're doing 10, 15 kilometers an hour. Some curves. Oh, this works great. Maybe a bit faster. Look at this, he's having fun. 30 kilometers an hour. Oops! Bye bye! <laughs> it wasn't the car's fault, the four wheel drive is perfect. So now it's time to have fun on my own. Yes, here we go. <laughs> While having the car in the off road mode allows more oversteering. <laughs> So as we can see, it's nice to have a four-wheel drive raced wagon on snowy roads. Snow-free roads, the cross-country rides smooth and comfortable. The steering is quite easy and not as precise as a BMW's. Most mothers and dads won't miss sportiness and will enjoy cruising on a motorway or the Autobahn. Taking the 190 horsepower diesel on the German Autobahn, we're doing 100. Now the pedal to the metal, 120, 130, 140, 175, and Mr. Skoda is pulling over on our lane. That was it. Well, Volvo says the V60 cross country is good for 210 kilometers top speed. This is a 1.9 ton vehicle, so I'd say 190 horsepower is okay, but it shouldn't be less. Speaking of this Volvo's German competitors, BMW, Mercedes, they don't make a raised four-wheel wagon in this class. Audi's got the A4 Allroad and Volkswagen the Passat Alltrack. The Volvo costs 52,000 euros or 38,000 pounds, about 50,000 bucks in the US. Audi's all-road is less until 
you fill it with extras that come standard with the Volvo. Why would families want a Volvo? It's got that extra safety topping on the cake. For instance, a runoff road detection or a pedestrian and elk detection, which should work for kangaroos too, just in case you live down under. See my autonomous driving costs extra 1600 euros. Seems half of the world wants SUVs and Volvo offers the XC60, but also the regular wagon, the V60. So why would you want the cross country? Well, the seat is higher, the view is better, but you're not driving a fat car and you're getting a better gas mileage. So maybe the cross country is best of both worlds. As a caring mother, you don't want your kids to have a cold bottom, so you spend another 240 euros extra for heating in the back seats. While as a nature-loving dad, you'll enjoy a warm snack. When the four-wheel drive wagon has taken you and a friend on an outdoor trip. Kangaroos too, just in case. On snow. Muss ich reingucken? Muss ich reingucken?